which will make it a bit gloopy when you're stir frying it. So rinse it and that will just keep the rice nice and light and fluffy. No, I don't think you're ready. Your master chef, me, is gonna teach you how to fry rice. <laughs> Hey yo, what's up guys? My name is Kim Ryan. Welcome back to my channel. So, you know, I'm a big fan of Asian kitchen. I'm actually a master chef. You didn't know about that? Okay, so my father was a chef. I'm his son, so obviously I'm a master chef. What kind of logic is that? Okay, never mind. So here's the case. Recently, a lot of Asians got triggered by BBC rice tutorial or something. And a lot of Asians complain like, this is not rice, you know, this is not how you cook that. So, as your favorite all bar chef, I can't allow this to happen. I can't allow people humiliating Asian kitchen. Okay, just kidding. No offense to anyone, okay? It's just like Asians can get triggered easily when it's about Asian food. Or it's just me. I don't know. Never mind. Okay, so today I'm gonna make a video reacting to that rice tutorial. And after that, I'm gonna show you how should an oppa fry rice properly. Okay, yeah, so if you want some like a little mukbang and some cooking video, stay till the end. Ryan's Hell Kitchen, you know? Anyways, let's get started. Okay, I believe this is the video, BBC Food. Let's see what they've got, alright? Okay. Egg fried rice. Don't be afraid. This is really simple. It's cheap, it's delicious, really satisfying, and it's like a takeaway, but you haven't paid eight quid for it. So, a lot of people... Okay, at least just right, um, egg fried rice is like one of the simplest fried rice. You don't need to add a lot of stuff. Basically, egg plus rice is enough. But if you want some vegetable to make it like fancier, it's okay as well. People get afraid of cooking with rice, but you can follow a really simple rule, which is for every one part rice you have, you need two parts water. It's a simple setup. It honestly does work every single time. This is going to cook enough rice for around two people. So now Okay, so in Asia, we usually use rice cooker. I don't know if you know what is that. So basically, you put the rice there and you put some water there and then boom, the rice is cooked. But if you don't have a rice cooker, actually, it also depends on what kind of rice you're using. But according to my experience, one cup of rice, we should mix it with one and three over four cup of water. This is my experience, but it really depends, okay? Here, get that onto a medium. I like British accent. I'm going to try and do this one-handed. Ooh. So British though, you know, it looks like British breakfast. Right. And then you just want to put that onto a plate, leave it to one side. Yay, rice. We are looking good. Drain it. Looking good. Rice has quite lots of Sis, it looks so mushy, like what is that? Like a like a it looks like soup actually. It doesn't look like rice, Master Chef Tom. One thing very important is that the rice should be dry enough so you can fry it and then it can smell good and it will be crispier, you know? What I suggest is to use overnight rice. This works the best. There's no right or wrong when it comes to fried rice. There's a lot of ways to do that. At least it should be rice instead of soup, right? Chin it, which will make it a bit gloopy when you're stir frying it. So rinse it and that will just keep the rice nice and light and fluffy first time hearing from someone that you need to rinse the rice before frying. I mean, it doesn't look right. Okay, but let's see. Vegetable, I hate onion, I hate garlic, I hate pepper, so I'm not gonna add any of this. I like pumpkin. I hate this thing, I don't know what's that, but I hate it. Yeah, something's just right. When you fry rice or fry something, it's better to fry with high heat. Because that's what I was told from a master. 
Not Kung Fu Master, okay. Like shit. Let's start frying. You want to keep it moving all the time. You've got a really high heat here, so you don't want it to burn. So just keep kind of gently moving everything about. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me now. I like her accent. And garlic and ginger. Move it all around again for another minute. Oh, that's funny. Spring onion, by the way. Wait, I hate everything. Why? Oh, I like this thing. Yeah. Maybe for you. Not for me, though. Wait, uh, before you eat, uh, I'm just gonna say something. For me, I bet this thing is really wet. It's not dry, because when you fry rice, it should be dry. And second, I think that it's super, super soft. I understand that there's like European fried rice, kind of like Western Asian thing. I just want to say that if you guys have the chance to try fried rice in Asia, like in Japan, I love Chinese fried rice. But I prefer Japanese fried rice. They're healthier and they taste super, super good. I'm hungry, really. She's gonna be like, mm, oh my god, this is so good. That's absolutely You can taste the ginger, the garlic, fresh, still fresh. Really, really good. So they don't look like super terrible though. Make it easy, all right? Let's check some comment, maybe. Now I know how Italians feel when other people murder the way of their cooking. Sorry to Italian pumpkin. I actually like uh, pineapples on, okay, nothing. If my mom saw me cooking rice like this, she would hit me using all these ting, 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 with ting, ting. This woman owns an apology to the people she offended and promises never to touch rice. <laughs> I mean, it's not that serious. Okay, like a lot of people don't know traditional way to cook Asian food, which is normal. I think horrible way of cooking rice. Asian watching, so you have chosen that. That's what I was thinking. Why did she rinse the rice after and not before it was cooked? <laughs> that poor rice. So. Your Oba chef is gonna cook you the simplest fried rice, okay? My way may not be the most accurate way, but it's actually easy and it's tasty, alright? Um, are you ready? No, I don't think you're ready. Your master chef, me, is gonna teach you how to fry rice. Shouldn't you be excited or something? Okay, anyways, um, let's go, okay? Alright guys, so I'm in my kitchen right now. I'm sorry for the very messy background, okay? So now I'm gonna teach you how to make the easiest fried rice. Rice, this is uh, overnight rice, which will be better. Also, egg. That's it, really that's it. If you want some meat, you can add some meat. If you want some pepper, like vegetable or like garlic or whatsoever, just add it yourself, okay? I don't want. First thing first, preheat the pan. I personally prefer just add the egg and then mix it with rice later on because I'm lazy. Add some oil. I don't like adding a lot of oil because I don't like oily stuff. Add the eggs. Okay, so you don't want the egg to be like completely cooked. So you need to stir it a little bit because it's fried rice. Right? You, you need to fry it a little bit. And usually I like to add rice right now because I want it to be mixed well with the eggs. You know, I heard from the master chef that how to tell that your rice is ready. When you see that the rice are jumping like this, I don't know if you can see it, like they're jumping a little bit. It means that they're ready. I like to add some salt before adding soy sauce, but it really depends, okay? And very importantly, you need soy sauce. Don't add it directly there because it's not gonna mix well. So you add it like this, little by little. Like this. 
Yeah, I personally don't like very salty fried rice, so I'm just gonna add a little. All right. Hey guys, so this is how I cook my rice. It's not very fancy, but it's very simple and it smells like really really nice. Um, this is the fried rice. Come on, focus. This is how it looks right now and trust me, it's like really tasty and it smells so good. And most importantly, it's crispy because it's fried rice on a smoke pan. So good. You know, besides McDonald's, my second favorite thing is this thing because it's so easy to cook. When I was living in Russia, I used to cook this a lot and my friend loved this so much. Not just because it's made by me, because it's easy, like it, there's there's not a lot of skills needed. So, and there's no right or wrong when you cook something, all right? If you like that, that's good. Just, you know, Asians can be triggered easily when it's about Asian food. I think it's just like um, Italians really hate people putting pineapple on pizzas. So, um, do you want some? Uh... Anyways, guys, that's the end of the whole video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. If you want more content, make sure that you follow my Instagram. I'm gonna put it right here, all right? Now I'm just gonna enjoy my food. I'll see you next time. Bye.